Hello guys, how are you doing? After I built uh, this app, uh, like few days after I, I made this tutorial, uh, Laravel, not Laravel, Facebook changed their algorithm to enforce HTTPS. That means you can no longer create a Facebook app without having uh, HTTPS, uh, without coming from a HTTPS. So your local host, your normal local host, uh, local host 8000 will not work. For a Facebook app you understand so I'm gonna show you the alternative solutions right now and this is what they just did two three days ago so eventually let's say one month out in two months time there could be other alternative solutions so but before then I'll show you the tutorial I'll show you um, some ways around first of all let's see what happened when I created this app what you will notice is that if you come to Facebook login under settings you see that enforce HTTP is set to no by default you understand so mine works without http that's why it works in this video tutorial but yours by the time you're creating a new facebook app this thing will be set to yes and you will not have a way to edit it so it will be permanently set to yes just like these ones so you'll not be able to edit it so uh you will be left to um with the option of finding a way to sort it out so one way to sort it out is to install ngrock so this ngrock helps you to pass your um your local host will pass through ngrock and by the time it's getting to facebook your local host will now have https you understand so this is one way you can download it and um go through the the tutorial for this is beyond the scope of this uh but lo just look at the docs but this is just one way like i said another alternative you can do is to skip the whole facebook login path you understand uh not just keeping it when when i'm teaching the facebook login when i was teaching the facebook uh logging like you will see in the further tutorials what happened was that um i removed the login um the login uh text boxes i removed the email text box the password text box the submit button and then replace it with the facebook button so don't remove those ones so you can still be logging in you understand uh because once you host your website once you host the site on your, on your on your cpanel or your server you can get a https so uh, basically what facebook is saying that uh you cannot use facebook app to log into your platform unless your platform has https so once you host your platform on the internet you can have you can get your https certificate you understand most uh web hosting servers cpanel uh, servers will simply install it for you by themselves once you create a new domain this they, they give you https you understand so um that's one way uh basically the way i do it now i just um you, you should not just remove the 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 login uh form just add facebook login uh, button underneath it but don't remove the form all right so that once you, when you finally host your 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 site you can now remove the form or hide it you understand so um, that's just uh, what I'll have to tell you in this video. So uh, once you get to ngrock.com, click on documentation. If you want to set it up, you'll see how they set it up. At the end of the day, they will give you a HTTPS connection. You understand? So um, just go through their settings. It's quite easy. It's very, very easy if you want to use them. Otherwise, just keep using your normal login. Your normal login will work. Your, your normal email and password login. Just add Facebook as an alternative. You understand? Thank you very much. I hope this helps.